Take two. Hey guys, this is Maria. I just completely botched uh, the first take of this track that I'm about to do. Um, hang on, I just got a text message. Let me answer it real quick. You mean you're listening to a romance novel? Okay, uh, sorry. Jeez. Uh, how do I get out of this? I hate when my phone does this, I swear to gosh. Goodbye. Okay. Thankfully, I found the lyrics to this track, um, on Spotify. Thank you, God, for Spotify. Um, because YouTube Music doesn't have the lyrics yet. Um, and this song is entitled The Emptiness Machine, and it's by The New Era of Lincoln Park. Now, let's talk about it. Um, uh, I know what y'all are all thinking. I was thinking the same thing when they found, you know, we found out about the new singer, the new single, the new album, everything. I was pissed off that they're continuing Lincoln Park at first without Chester. But it kind of, in a way, I understand why they're doing it. Because fans have been clamoring for more than Lincoln Park. Fans are missing the band. The band had a part to play in a revolutionizing, you know, part of rock in the 2000s. You, you know, they have a special place in everybody's heart for one reason or another. Um, so it makes sense for them, in a way, to continue. And I can't say anything bad about them just yet because um, Genesis pretty much went through the same transition. Peter Gabriel leaves in 1975 and they're, you know, Genesis is like, well, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Do we end the band or do we continue? And then later on, after reviewing a bunch of singers, everything feels like, well, hell, why don't I have a go and, you know, sing the songs? Phil sings the songs, and the rest of the band's like looking at each other and like, he can do it. So why don't we have Phil be the lead singer? You know, so, and then they, you know, they went on to become superstars. So if Genesis can do it, I don't see why Linkin Park can't do the same thing. No one can replace Chester. Nobody. At, at Emily Armstrong, if you see this, you have every ounce of my respect. Okay, let me make that clear right now. However, I know she's not looking to replace Chester. She's looking to help the band continue and make something different and have her own place in Lincoln Park and blaze her own path in, in the band, you know, so it can continue to help fans across the world. So that's the way I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it as the band starting again, starting over. This is going to be, in my mind, their debut album. Their re okay, how about this? Their re-debut. This is The Emptiness Machine from their new album, From Zero. Uh, Alright, let's go to the new Linkin Park, as always. Um, rest in peace, Chester. This episode is also dedicated to James Earl Jones, who passed away recently. So, here is my best attempts at the empty emptiness machine by Lincoln Park. All right, let's go to them. Your blades are sharpened with precision, flashing your favorite point of view. I know you're waiting in the distance, just like you always do. Just like you always do, already pulling me in, already under my skin, and I know exactly how this ends, that you cut me open, and to watch me bleed, gave up who I am for what you wanted me to be, don't know why I'm hoping for what I won't receive. Falling for 
all the promises, the emptiness machine, the emptiness machine. machine Whew. Whew. and usually I don't do this I usually wait until the album comes out I heard it's gonna come out I think in November um, and yes I will be one of those people that purchases the album if my check plays out the right way as I hope it will um, yeah, I am gonna, I am gonna try to, I don't want to say accept this new era. I want to say I want to embrace this new era because people change, lineups change. I mean, come on, Evanescence has changed so much and people complain every time the lineup changes just a little bit. But they, I think Evanescence has gotten better and better with the musicians that they have. So if I can give Evanescence that opportunity, why the fuck can I give that this, the same optimis, optimism to Lincoln Park? Um, you know, there's there's discussions about Emily being part of Scientology. Um, discussions about Chester's son. Um, not liking the new lineup of Lincoln Park, thinking it's disrespectful to his father. Um, I don't have any opinions on that whatsoever. Um, I just want to, um, I just wanted you guys to hear the new song, tell me what you think, um, and give genuine opinions, is tell me if you're going to give the new Lincoln Park a chance. I am going to do From Zero once it's released. Once I learn it, once I master it, you know, I will um, come back and sing it on the rest of this channel. I'm going to finish the Black Album by Metallica, I See You from Citizen Soldier. I'm going to do, um, oh, I think Daltrey released a new little album. Um, um, it's like four songs, I'll do that. Um, of course, there's the Seether album that's coming out, um, uh, Stained released a deluxe edition of Confessions of the Fallen, um, I'll do those songs once it gets released, if it's not released already, 
I'll get, you know, as soon as I get the CD, I'll, I'll add on the songs because I know I did the main album already. So there's plenty of new stuff coming around uh, on this channel. So get excited about it. Tell me what you think of the new Linkin Park. Again, this episode is dedicated to James Earl Jones and, of course, Chester Bennington. It would be ludicrous if I didn't say Chester Bennington as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the emptiness machine, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye, guys.